Hey guys, it's Aaron. As many of you probably know, my default setup for drawing in SketchUp is a three button mouse and a space mouse. A lot of people have asked about alternative setups and one of the ones we get a lot of questions for is what about using styluses, tablets, or pen displays? So I'm gonna look today at what it's like to use SketchUp on a pen display and hopefully give you a couple tips to make it easy if that is a kind of a setup that you wanna try. So let's go ahead and hop right in. Okay, so for this video, I'm gonna be using a Wacom Cintiq 16 Pro. Uh, SketchUp works pretty well the same with any pen display or uh, stylus that the functional tools are the same, but uh, that happens to be the one that, that I had access to. So this is what we'll be looking at for this video. So before we actually look at how to set up your display and what tools to use, just a couple basic things to be conscious of. One is as you're drawing, as you obviously move your stylus around, the mouse cursor moves with it. For me, and I am not an all the time stylus user, I actually, like I said, I prefer using the mouse for the most part. I actually don't have access to a pen display like this regularly, so it's not the normal tool I use. But what I had an issue with was drawing lines. Um, my workflow with the mouse would be to move my cursor in the direction I wanna draw the line, take my hand off of the mouse, and then type in an exact dimension. The issue that I was running into, and this could just be me, but as I lifted my mouse, sometimes my hand would kind of roll and it would pop off of the axes I wanted to draw. So if I wanted to draw on this green axis and pull my hand off, it would sometimes pop over, you know, jump over to another pixel and it would come off axes. Um, what I found worked the best was to get where I wanted to go, hover with my left hand, and then type in a dimension. If I want this 15 feet, 15 foot enter to get that exact length in there. Um, so that's one of the things that I ran into. Again, not a big deal and potentially not an issue at all if you're better at using the, the stylus than I am, but that was a concern for me. Um, lots of people use stylus that don't have that problem, so maybe it's just me. Maybe I just have, uh, I don't know, wiggly fingers when I draw or something, I don't know. Another thing to consider when you do go in and set up SketchUp is in your preferences, if you go to drawing, there's an option in here that says disable pre-pick push-pull tool. I want to turn that one on. One of the things that you want to get used to with this is SketchUp does often let you do things like click to start something, click to end it, click to start, click to end, or clicking and dragging and releasing. With the stylus, it is far more important to do the click, 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 click uh, for a couple reasons. One is just accuracy. The other is clicking and dragging first allows you to take your hand off the, off the keyboard so, or off the, the tablet and then type in the dimensions you want. So rather than holding it like I was doing with the line, hovering and waiting for it, me to use my other hand to do it, by clicking once I can move in the direction I want to push, pull, come over to the keyboard, type in the dimension and hit enter. So turning pre-pick off makes that a lot easier because then I'm not stuck having to escape out of a surface or something like that before I go in there. So that's kind of the basic things that I, I would say you want to consider when you're trying to use a tablet. The other thing is the setup. I found two different ways that worked pretty well for me. Um, one was with the keyboard, one was with the 3D mouse. So I just want to run through how I set those up. The keyboard is the closest to a standard setup because I have all of my shortcut keys, I have my number keys, everything is right here under my left hand, and the stylus ends up becoming really just the mouse. The thing that was missing here, of course, is the middle button. So I actually set this up a couple different ways and played with a few solutions. Let me show you the one that worked the best for me with the keyboard and the stylus. Okay, so here's how I set up the buttons on the stylus. Uh, the middle click I put on the one button. So this, this stylus has three buttons. So I put the middle click, the equivalent of holding down the scroll wheel on the big button on the end. And then these two right here, I mapped to scroll up, scroll down. What this ended up giving me was basically the similar functionality to the middle button on a mouse. So I can click and drag here to orbit, which is very simple. And then I could click the buttons 
to zoom in and out. And that pretty well emulated what I would have on the normal mouse, the, the tap being a left click and then the middle controls being mapped onto the buttons. The thing I was missing here, of course, was a right click, but since I do have the keyboard sitting right here, it was simple enough to hold down control and tap to get that context menu. I use the context menu a lot, so it was very important that I had the ability to do that. Um, holding down that extra button over here didn't make it too much more difficult than normally using it. That was the setup I used. My keyboard keys are right here, my shortcuts were here, my buttons were easy to use, and that was actually a pretty good setup. Um, I was able to navigate. Navigation was the big one. And that's the nice thing inside of SketchUp is moving around 3D is so easy because of that middle mouse button. It's tough to lose that. And fortunately, with mapping the 3D pen, uh, the Wacom 3D pen to those commands, it really made it pretty easy to navigate. And I really didn't feel like I was missing that middle button. So that was pretty nice. The other alternative, of course, is to use a 3D mouse. So let's take a look at what that's like. Okay, so this was my setup with the 3D mouse. So the 3D mouse did a couple of things. One is it took over all control moving around everything. So by moving the puck, of course, I move in 3D so I could get rid of, I didn't have to worry about that middle mouse button anymore. So I was able to remap the buttons on the stylus. The 3D mouse, especially with this one, with the programmable one where I have the extra buttons, I didn't have to worry about things like uh, keystrokes or shortcut keys so much because I can map those here. I didn't have the full keyboard in this case. So the thing I ended up missing was the number keys. So my commonly used shortcuts are mapped to my buttons. I also have the buttons up here, but the thing I was missing was if I want to type in a specific dimension, I had to go lean over and use my keyboard and come away from the controls I had set up. So the way I set up the buttons on the stylus this time was to put a, a keypad on the big button, and that gave me my one, two, three, four, five, all my numbers. Um, I put right click back onto a button on here. Again, I have the modifier key I can push also, but this just became a little bit easier than it was all, all over here. And then I had one more button to map, so I ended up mapping select back to my middle button. So what this ended up doing was it put all the animation or all the orbiting, moving around, zooming went to the 3D mouse, which is what it does. And then if I did have to come in here and as, as I'm drawing, if I wanted to, to draw something, I could click and I could actually use my keypad then to type in dimensions, that sort of thing. I modified it as well. So up here, I actually put the foot mark and the inch mark so I could actually put in a specific uh, dimension for things. So if I wanted to come in here, push pull, I could type in, I want that to be exactly 12 and then enter. And I have exactly a 12 foot tall panel. So that was actually pretty nice. I could put this over here. I think I ended up doing something like this, pinning that down so it would stay there. And then I could actually hop over here and make those changes and put in uh, input same time. This worked out real nice. Uh, granted, the issue here is, okay, I already have this display. I have to add another piece of hardware. But again, if you are doing a lot of input and you like this pen display, a 3D mouse is actually a great addition. I know you guys say I say that 3D mouse is always great, but that's because I really have found a lot of advantage to using a space mouse or 3D mouse while modeling in SketchUp. And the pen display ended up being kind of no exception. It is a great way to do it. So I would recommend, like I said, custom mapping buttons on your stylus and then making the decision either to have your other hand resting on the keyboard or the 3D mouse. Um, and then that coupled with a couple other things like click, move, click, rather than click and drag, uh, can get it so that your stylus and using a pen display or a tablet are just as effective as using a three button mouse. So there you go. I don't know if you've ever tried using a stylus or if you've stayed away from it because it was scary, but it's definitely worth trying. There's a lot of people who really like that workflow. If you use a stylus and you have a workflow you prefer, let us know down in the comments. I'd love to hear how you go about this. If you do like this video, give us a like, and if you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe. 
Like I said, the best thing is leave us a comment because we like making these videos, but we like making them a lot more when there's something you want to see. Thank you. If you've ever been interested in using SketchUp with a stylus or a pen display and never known how to make the jump, click through to watch this week's Skill Builder.